What's up, guys? This is a business reading for a Libra with a business opportunity, a business idea, um, or a business that's in operation. This is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. If you do not resonate with this reading, what a private reading if you would like more insight and clarity into your business operations. We want advice from spirit as to how, what you can do, or what actions you can take to make, take it to the next level and make it more successful or take it to um, make, bring it to fruition or to change your life in the area of business, career, finance, um, and things of that sort. So the overall energy of this reading, we have the completion card, which is about manifestation. We have perception. We have believe in the impossible, and we have adjacent to possibilities. Um, right under those, it's all about putting in the work, expansion, and a new start. But let's start with believe in the impossible and completion. Oh, child. Always dropping stuff. Believing in the impossible and completion is about you have a rare opportunity. You have a power, manifestation power right now. Um, spirit is with you. Some, it's either spirit is with you or somebody is providing you with an opportunity that's very rare. It's very that's gonna take you into levels that's unmanage unmanageable. Unimaginable. With the blue moon card, it's about rare opportunities and advances and um, being in a position that's very rare. And with the Four of Wands, it's bringing the power of manifestation and um, balance of powers and resolution and solution. So there is a solution to whatever it is, whatever business problem idea that you have right now, you can do it. It's very rare, but this rare possibility is going to bring you to completion and to manifestation, to bring your idea to life, to change your life. Um, to take your business to new levels. But with the perception and adjacent to possibilities card, you're not seeing it. So whatever opportunity this is, if I drop another card, why not drop the cards? Whatever opportunity this is, you're, you're not seeing it. Um, maybe because you're going, I don't know what it is. Something is blocking your view. Something is blocking your perception. Usually it's um, sight something in your side meaning things aren't working the way that they should be working or it could be anything that's going on in your life that's clouding your vision but know that there is an adjacent possibilities there are many different doors available to you you just have to pick one but you have to know that they are there first step is knowing you have adjacent possibilities and then go within whatever seek new insight and clarity into your situation into your business idea and know that there are many different doors available for you to get to where you're trying to go in business Look at that. About broaden your horizon. Broaden your see things. Try to see things differently. Ask spirit what it is that you need to see different. Say spirit, and I'm saying it with you. What do I need to see different to take my business to the next level? Because this opportunity for you is rare, and rare opportunities don't last forever. So take advantage of this power, of this energy, of this person in your life or whatever it is in your particular situation that's going to take your business to the next level it's time for you right now to take advantage of this opportunities and don't let you don't let it pass you by because rare opportunities are rare they don't come for everyone they don't come all the time that's why they're rare and they have the power to you have the power to take it and manifest it and manifest new levels in your life and business so take full advantage of this opportunity that you have available to you and if you're unsure of what it is Look at the number four is bringing structure and stability and um, completion and a solid foundation for your life. So it's pertinent for you to dig deep inside and figure out what it is. Um, and it's going to make turn you into a boss because this queen of this wanted to show itself. It's going to turn you into the boss that you are. So seek new insight and clarity into your situation. Why do these cards want to reveal themselves? And fight for what you believe in. Fight for your business. Put the effort in required. Um, the mental effort, the energy, whatever it is that's required for you to manifest this level of boss, this level of abundance, this level of stability in your life. So the first combination you have is man holding a heart, meditating, contemplate, new moon in Pisces, and the eight of swords. The man holding a heart is about clarity. New Moon in Pisces is about opportunity, and this is your period to um, make your dreams come true. It's a period of manifestation. 
it's like a last ditch effort to make your dreams come true. Um, but with the Eight of Swords is you you don't see the opportunity because something is interfering with your ability to see the light. Something is getting in the way of mental clarity. Now, for some people, this could literally be um, emotional ties to a man. It could be you being in your feelings about something, but it could be overanalyzation. Whatever it is, it's getting in your way. Maybe you can meditate and contemplate or you should meditate and contemplate so that you can see things clearly so that you can see that. And I'm telling you right now, this is your opportunity. This is your time to manifest the desires of your heart. This is your time to make your dreams come true. This is believe in the impossible. Your dreams are coming true right now. You have to believe it because this is your rare opportunity to manifest the desires of your heart. So you need to gain clarity of mind. So that you can take advantage of this opportunity to manifest your dreams. Whatever it is you're trying to manifest in your business, your idea, whatever you're trying to bring to light, this is the time to do it now. This is your last ditch effort to bring your manifest your dreams. So one thing you need to do right now is seek new insight and clarity. With the perception card, it told you to seek new insight and clarity. The adjacent possibilities is told you have a possible you have windows, opportunity available for you that you're not using. Man holding the heart again. Clarity. Oh, child. Keep dropping stuff. I gotta look up. Why do I keep dropping things? It's like missed opportunities or something. I keep dropping things. Maybe that is relevant to this reading. Don't miss out. Don't lose this opportunity. Don't drop it. Don't allow interference. Don't allow mental interference in your ability to manifest your dreams. And I'll share. You know, I'm going through something, a transition. I have to move. And sometimes... You know, it's, it's really hurtful because while I've been on this spiritual journey, I've been on this spiritual journey for a few years now, um, and I've moved like seven times. And I've, I've ex you know, because I, I quit my job, I risked everything, and I took a leap of faith. And it led me to this point of connection to spirit and connection with my spiritual gifts and, and manifestation and power to manifest and stuff. But, you know, when things happen, like I have to move again and my stability, my comfort, my complacency is being tested. It causes, it does cause interference. And I am a Libra. So, you know, I resonate with this reading a lot. It causes interference in your ability to see things clearly because, you know, it's, it's, sometimes it just feels like the universe or, you know, some aspects. Of the universe is plotting against you or plotting against me and it's like you're fighting against everything and it gets tiresome but meditate and contemplate and i'll just I'll relay this message to myself as well meditate and contemplate and go within so that you can see things clearly maybe an opportunity is going to come towards you a rare opportunity from a man but you know for me i don't think that's the case i think it's just a you know this is a period of manifestation a period of growth and I have a power, a rare power and a rare possibility and opportunity to make my dreams come true if I could just see things clearly. And that could be the same for you as well. It could be some people could be a man could be standing in your way of clarity or interfering with your ability to see things the way that you should see it. It could be a man or a woman, you know, in the way of holding your heart, standing in the way of your ability to see things clearly. But for me. Um, and maybe some other people as well. It could just be yourself and you're being tested, but pass the test and don't allow anything to interfere with them, interfere with your ability to manifest your dreams because your time is now and it would behoove you and I not to lose this rare opportunity that's available to us. Libra, this next combination is so dope. It is so, I'm so excited from this reading. At first when I was like, when I pulled these cards, I was like, is this, is this for me? Because I was going to do the Taurus reading first and then I was like, um, let me do Libra. But then I forgot which one and I pulled a card and Spirit was like, no, this is Libra. So I'm like, and then I saw the Eight of Swords and I was like, oh, this, do I want this to be for me? But you know, the message is the message and you have to accept whatever message it is from Spirit. But anyway... This combination, okay, so we have the isolation card. This isolation card is telling you, telling me and you that we're on the verge of something very big. And if you do not participate, it will pass you by. Again, rare opportunities, believe in the impossible. Create something major. Something major is about to happen in your life. I don't care what's happening around you that's clouding your vision. Don't even pay attention to it. Focus on your vision. Create something right now. 
with um nope with the come on cards i don't want to mess my cards up then you have the second chakra archangel ariel with the ace of this toth which is the ace of pentacles toth card this is saying that the second chakra vibrates in the energy of the beautiful angel ariel anyway it's about creativity it's urging you to get creative. Let yourself reach into the unexplored areas of self-expression and new projects that may have a more creative approach. It's time to create something. Again, with the couple with the eggs of this, this is the hand of God on your life, but this is creation. It's time for you to create something. Literally, it is the beginning of creation. It is Kether through earth. It is the manifestation, the power of manifestation of God on earth. So whatever it is that you create is really big. It's going to have the hand of God on it and it's going to be blessed. What these cards is telling me, when you create this next project you're creating or that you connect with in this reading, whatever it is that you create is going to be big. It's going to bring a powerful change in your life. It's going to take you to new heights and new levels. I'm telling you, it's going to be major for you. I have two projects that I'm creating. I'm going to go ahead and do them because I missed out last month. I'm not going to miss out again. I'm going to take advantage of this rare opportunity. And I hope you do too. And I hope you get to see this reading. And I hope it resonates with you because whoever resonates with this, this is something big and major happening in your life. But you have to create the project. You have to create the idea. You have to do whatever it is that you've been urging yourself or that's on your heart to do. Again, if you need to seek new insight and clarity, do that. But stop letting this shit get in your mind. And I'm talking to myself. Don't let not stop letting stuff interfere. Small thing, whatever's happening in your life right now, it's a small thing to a giant, and you're a giant. And it's a small thing to you. Squash it. Because it's time for you to create something. And it's going to be major. It's going to be big. Yes. And it's gonna flow freely. For this last set is so good that I just want to read it for you. Okay, so the first card we have is Door to Spirit. And we have that couple with Quest. So what this is saying is, starting from the bottom now, you're here, basically. And I'm not even trying to, I'm not even making it better than what it is. I'm not over-exaggerating. It's literally your quest and your journey has led you here. And you're here, you just don't know it because it's interference in your life. And I understand, like I said, I resonate with this. But starting from the bottom and you're here. Your journey has led you to truth. Your journey has led you to access. Your journey has led you to the door of spirit. You're in new energetic realms that makes it possible for rare opportunities and for you to manifest anything is possible for you. And I just want to read this um, door to spirit part. It says, come on. It says, this door opens unto the expansive energetic realm where all new beginnings originate. The orbs of light are guiding you through the clouds of the earthly world, leading you to a deeper understanding of your internal eternal identity, the source of all true value and power. This door opens up to onto true unlimited potential for the ch changes that happen here reach deep into the core of your being. As such, this card often heralds your increasing powers in the spiritual arts and a deepening connection with the spirit world. Oh, this is certainly for me. I hope it resonates with you too. And don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive, more aware of spirits present, or more powerful in your own healing practices. Now it's time to open up to the unexpected guidance and inspiration of your spirit and to the magic and power of your true identity. This is following your purpose. This is being connected to spirit. This is being connected to spirit realm. That's why you have this rare opportunity and this power. Your journey has led you to unlimited power and potential because you're connected to spirit, because you are becoming one with your true authentic self. And I know that because it's the Ten of Pentacles right with it. And the Ten of Pentacles is about completion and new phases of life and entering that door, entering new levels and phases of life and completion. But it's also about wealth, um, it's also about wealth and completion of success and well-being and security and just new levels of life, new levels of thinking. It's about wisdom and potential unfolded, realization of dreams, material gain, completion. You Spirit has literally led you here. And this is your time to get it. This is your opportunity and your time to get it because you are in the spirit realm. I know I am because my dreams... I, you know, I, I'm surrounded by people who are there 
in the material world, I might not be around these people, but in the spirit realm, I am. That's why I was able to connect with Nipsey. But that's why he was able to connect with me when he passed um, so easily because I'm in the spirit realm. I'm already connected in the spirit realm. It just has to manifest in the material realm. You may be the same way. You have access to the door of spirit. So whatever business idea that you're working on is going to be, whatever you create is going to be extensive. Don't, don't let the past hold you back or past failures or past um, things that didn't go your way. Now is your time. Don't let it hold you back. With the Prince of Swords, it's just adding that use your intellectual ability to create. So use your mind and your access to spirit. So use your mind, body, and spirit to create something. You're one with yourself. You're one with your mind, body, and spirit. You're one with, you're one with God. You have you know, the hand of God over your life. You have spiritual access. So use your mind, use your intellect, use your spirit connection, and use your body, of course, your hands to create something in the material realm that's going to that they can use to bless you, that God can use to bless you and take you to new levels and new heights in, um, in physical reality. So that, yeah, you live in a 5D in spirit, but you want to live to that level of connection in a material world as well. And now is your time. So whatever business is, this is about or idea, know that you're on the verge of something big. I'm a name that's reading that. You're on the verge of something big. Don't miss out. You know, we have the fear of missing out. I'm so, I was so pissed at myself for missing out on the opportunity that I missed out on last month. I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to miss this rare opportunity again. I was supposed to release the Master Manifested, Master Manifested Toolkit last month. Spirit told me to act on this energy very quickly. Do it now. And I didn't. I let life get in the way. I was doing too much. Went, I was, I was literally doing too much. I traveled and none of that is worth my purpose, you know, and now I'm going through things that I probably wouldn't even been going through had I just did what I was supposed to do. So if you're like me, take advantage of this access, take advantage of this power, take advantage of your ability to create wealth and abundance in your life and a new levels and enter new levels. Take advantage of this rare opportunity. See the adjacent possibilities. See the windows and doors that are already there for you, ready for you to bless you. Don't let whatever this is in your life, don't let this interference get in the way of you becoming true. You becoming the person you were created to be. You becoming the true you and living in your dreams and living in your purpose and entering new phases and new levels of life. If you need to use your intellect for that, use your mind, body, and spirit to create it. I think with this Prince of Swords, it's just adding that you have the intellectual ability to create it. This is about creativity and using your ideas. And using your words, using your ideas to manifest something big. Anyway, if you would like a private reading, click the link in my description. This next video or this next clip I'm going to add to this is about the Master Manifesto Toolkit. If that isn't helpful to you, then I also have other things. I have a spiritual coaching program where I guide your business through to the next level through spiritual coaching. I have the Power of I Am book teaching you the manifestation process, but also teaching you about divine masculine and feminine energies and unity and balance and twin flame and becoming one with yourself and understanding spirit and God on another level. I have the Spiritual Pathway to Success, which is the first book that I created about becoming one with God and, and what led me here to this place in the first place. Um, and I have the Business Strategy Journal as well. It's on Amazon if you want the physical copy and the PDF is also on my site as well. Click the link below. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Peace. I've manifested full payment of all 106000 of my student loans. I only pay like $60 out of $106,000. I've manifested $30,000 twice. I've manifested connection to my divine partner. I've manifested the activation of my third eye and spiritual gifts. I've manifested the concept of all four of my books way before they created so many things I manifested and now I'm manifesting you. I'd like to teach you the manifestation process. I know the what behind manifestation, what's required, the process. I know how it's done. I know why it's done. I also know things that can hinder your manifestation process and I'd like to teach you. So click the link below today and start manifesting the desires of your heart tomorrow.